All right, folks, we're gonna wrap up day 21. I got the crown chest from this day. Let's see, anything here? Let's see, nobody's giving me Inferno Towers. I might have to switch, because I don't know if people have it in their uh, half spares. Wow, almost enough knights and some three muskies, perfect. They're really good in challenges right now. They might nerf them though. Cheers. Okay, and I'll show you guys a couple of my wins because a couple of my wins were pretty epic. Um, I think it was both of these two ones. Royal Giant, level nine, and I beat him with this deck. Check this out. So again, I have level one epics, basically. Well, I mean, it's kind of a lie. My peck is three. Um, so I have the same level as his witch, so, but I just don't have, I didn't get the lucky enough to get the witch. So, so I basically retargeted him. He did, like, look at that. He did so much damage, it's ridiculous. It's just crazy. Goblin Barrel, thank goodness his Goblin Barrel wasn't another level. But basically look at that, he takes... Oh brother, he took a he took a tower so fast. I was like, you know what, alright, let's do this. So if I were him right there, I would have probably have thrown my Royal Giant in the back. This, this was key right here, were those arrows and keeping my Dark Prince alive. Because the Dark Prince does splash damage, so he's actually really good to take out kind of ground troops. You just kind of have to have him uh, kind of charged up. So I could have gone for the three crown, but as we've seen multiple times, the three crown is really not what you're looking for. It usually will mess you up. But I got two P.E.K.K.A.s. And uh, with two P.E.K.K.A.s, this tower is done, skis. But again, it's very, it's very, this deck is very kind of hit or miss. Most of the time it's a miss, but I'm in Arena 7 right now, so it's not, it's not doing too bad. So I actually put the P.E.K.K.A. right here. He absorbs quite a bit of damage, but... What we're really trying to do was we're really just trying to look at that prediction arrows. Nice. So at this point, it was kind of a mistake to do that, but you know, I knew I was going to be able to. I was going to give up a tower. This deck, unfortunately, is not meant for pre pre double elixir. It's just not. But man, if you can get past like that double elixir or get something going, you'll be golden. So he has a rocky he's been holding on to. And so he gets me. He, I mean, he takes out my elixir with collector, which isn't that bad. It's a six for a five trade. I throw the I throw the arrows out there because um, I want to get a lot of splash damage, and so right now you know he's cycling for the rocket, and unfortunately didn't cycle fast enough. Should have known. Shouldn't have thrown the hog rider there. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up this day. Pretty fun. Let's, let's look at my last one victory with a with a. Balloon and a level three poison. Level three poison is really nice. So that was actually great for him. He sh what he should have done right there is he should have uh, he should have thrown his barbs in the back so that they fought on the other side of the um, of the river. But right there, his balloon is basically, I'm going to try and keep baiting on his balloon here and just taking him out with the Inferno Tower. He can take out, and I 
think the balloon would have to be level 4 or 5 with my Inferno Tower right now to actually do damage. Now, I'm throwing my peck on the left side because I figure the right side tower is going to be done for a certain point. And I also knew that uh, I could use double prints on the right hand side. So that was very, very good. So what I do here is I put them up far enough to the left to where I get the balloon. So if I didn't target the balloon there, we would have been GG. We would have been, we would have been done for. So right here, he should have done all he could to, to prevent me, but he didn't. Balloon gets taken out. Definitely elixir. And I think he just gave up because he knew he was done. Anyways, that was another good one. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in day 22. This has been Pitching Against Idiot. Over and out. All right, folks, Pitching Against Idiot, we're back. Day 21 challenge. So I've actually gotten enough to upgrade the Inferno Tower to level 6. Sweet. Also get to open some chests. Nice. Okay. Waiting for an epic here. Would be wonderful. So let's see. Oh, interesting. This guy basically gave up. He didn't even he didn't even play. I was able to three oh him pretty quickly. But uh, look at this, so many defeats. I went from 2274 all the way down to 2045. So that's nuts. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in day 22. It's been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.